What's going on guys? Today is actually a really good workout. I want to share this workout with you guys because it's something that I do uh, where I'm able to still push through an injury. I've been having the same injury um, in my chest when I was uh, really young. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, I kind of talked about it here a bit and some other places, but uh, I was on steroids uh, and I was gaining strength in my bench so fucking quick. Pretty much every week would add 10 pounds. And that's one of the things when you're taking steroids that they don't kind of tell you uh, that you build muscle, but you don't build ligaments. So that's the first thing that went. So I started getting tears, like micro tears in the ligaments and like in the connecting muscles. I'm not too sure exactly where, but uh, it's now an injury that I've been constantly dealing with pretty much my whole life since then. So not my whole life, but like four or five years. And uh, I kind of wanted to share that like now, since like not taking and stuff like that, the, the things that I have to do to be precautionary. And I started feeling it like act up today in like the past few weeks, I think just because of how I've been sleeping or like I sleep on my side, so my shoulder's been fucked up, but I'm still getting in the gym and training in a way that's not furthering the injury um, because I don't want to just not work out. Uh, and I feel like every time I've had an injury and I haven't worked out or like done stuff to push through it in a safe way with lighter weights and at least working through the injury, I've never gotten stronger. So one thing I remember when I first tore it, I was maybe two months out and every time I tried just going a little heavy, it would hurt. Um, but bar was like, dude, you just gotta work with the bar. So I coming in every day. And once I did that, it really cleared up within like a week or two. So for me, not dealing with it, I know how to push it to where if I go two am or too strong in the weights quickly, it's gonna flare up. So today I just worked up to a, a, a set of like 315 for six. Uh, and I've been sticking my cap at 315 because I know when I start pushing it to 365 trying to do doubles or triples with that That's when it really starts to flare up if I'm not actually working like peaking towards our building So uh, for me, I feel like that's been the best but because of that and my shoulder I took it a little slow today So I basically did workouts that I knew that I wasn't actually moving the shoulder a lot besides the bench and like the shoulder press I did wasn't extremely heavy so I really wanted to make sure that I did it so basically the workout was I worked up to a, a heavy um, set of six I was trying to go for a little bit of am rep but stopping like a rep or two short um, so I did six and Stan actually called it he was firing he was like after the first one he's like oh you got six I was like what the hell I'm trying to go for like eight or nine uh, but right when I got to the fifth one and sixth one I was like oh shit I should that's what I'm trying to call it uh, so he was really smart with that I mean he's just a really good coach and he kind of can see these things but I worked up to a heavy uh, set of six with 315 it felt really good and then I dropped it down and I always do my working set like the heavy one first and then I drop it down and try to do more explosive like volume type work so I did 225 um, in trying to be in like as perfect form as I can but pushing through it and like coming down and like letting the momentum kind of get there and really not really honestly focusing on my chest but blasting with the lockout and trying to like push as high as I can um, the only thing with that I noticed is when I go so fast I forget to do the actual lockout portion um, or sometimes like I do it in a way where it kind of just like snaps into place but I feel like with the technique that I've had from powerlifting it's kind of weird where you kind of minimize the amount of reps or range of motion so I feel like it kind of works in my favor for powerlifting but not for the actual bodybuilding aspect of it but I got through with that and then I did a few sets of uh, uh, triples with just the close grip and trying to really actually focus on pushing into the tricep and springing out of it so that went really well and then I moved over to a few sets of shoulder press where I worked up to I think 70 for a set of eight when I do my accessories I really focus on the bodybuilding aspect to actually carry down the muscle and rebuild um, and surprisingly shoulder press with the dumbbell I guess because you gotta move around a little bit more uh, and it's not as stable but because there's more range of motion for your arms to move it doesn't hurt my shoulders compared to a strict press like with the barbell so I've been doing that and that felt really good I got extreme pump but the focus of today's workout was just doing a bit of everything upper body um, for pushing. So I did that and also I just add, because it's body elastic, I wanna get bigger arms. I do add a lot more biceps. I do biceps twice a week. So I focus on building my biceps as well. And because I'm not moving anything with my shoulders as much, except when I come to the top of the contraction, my forearm does move a little bit because it's attached to the shoulder too and it just flexes and contracts there. But when I do that and I focus on the, the, the biceps, I really try to do high reps with heavy weights because that's, where I feel like I've gotten the most size and strength for my biceps. Whenever I do anything that's just light, uh, unless it's like a warm up or like a finishing exercise, I don't see growth. When I start going heavy again, where it's like A reps and under, and I feel like my arms are finally growing. I see a lot of comments on the Barrogate Instagram and also whenever I post anything about um, or talk about injuries or anything that a lot of people actually deal with injuries. And I know I'm young, uh, but I train so stupidly growing up that I'm dealing with a lot of injuries now that I'm like still able to move really well, but I know 
10 years down the line, it's gonna be real problems if I don't focus on it now. So I think for you guys out there, there's the ego side of lifting where we just get in, we wanna push it, we wanna think, and not even go that heavy, but like don't actually consider your warm ups and how you like uh, move and how your body moves and how you actually just do things outside of the gym where like, it's weird, like this funniest thing, like everyone's like, I can deadlift 600 pounds, but when you see them go pick up something off the floor, they have to put their hand on the knees and get down. And I know a lot of you guys out there probably move the same way or you're gonna have to do that in like a year or two. Uh, but really take care of your body because it's the, the biggest thing I've noticed from power lifters, and you could follow any of the great power lifters that you've seen on here, it's they'll be the top and you'll be watching them for a few years and then they're gone out of nowhere. Like, I think I Andrew, they switched it up, but it's because they don't take care of themselves. There's a lot of people that um, will put to the max, but then they, one small injury for them is like a huge thing and they, they can't lift anymore. Um, but really focusing on your health aspect of lifting too, because it just takes time. Everything takes time. If you're able to stay healthy and uh, train longer than someone else, you'll end up being stronger, the strongest version of yourself, but also happier because you're actually able to keep pushing it and is basically live almost in a sense right uh i've known there's been so many times where i've done stuff like just trying to push it to the max trying to be strong now and i've gotten hurt and it's put me out longer where other people that i would say competing against when i was powerlifting competitively has passed me just by slowly progressing there's more to this fitness stuff outside the gym you know if you want to be strong in the gym you should be at least able to do this stuff outside the gym too. So don't think that the gym is the only place to live. And it's, I love the gym, I come in here, it's my safe haven, but I love being able to take the stuff I've learned from here and apply it outside. Make sure when you're in the gym, you're doing things that are properly. Don't forget that the gym isn't the end all be all. Try to learn how to apply this to your outside life. And also just the mentality aspect of it, like this therapy, you know? Yeah, so I know I talked about a lot of different topics in this video, but hopefully you're able to pull some things. My mind kind of goes crazy, whatever, but yeah, uh, this Wednesday we're actually dropping a multivitamin. Again, with every supplement we come out with, make sure you go on the website and you read the full description. Uh, do your own research on these things, but we kind of break it down for you. Everything that we put into these supplements and vitamins are of the highest quality. We wouldn't have gotten into the supplement game unless we actually believed in the product. Uh, and we took so long developing each supplement that we came out with has been six months to 12 months in production. Like we actually been researching these things. We've been working with the best people to bring you the best quality. So definitely check it out. If you want a multivitamin, this is probably one of the best ones in the market. And yeah, so check it out.